multi dimensional space zones by understanding its existence by the ability to grasp visualize imagine when you understand its existence that existence just gets replicated reproduced mirrored in your system that makes you manifest the extraordinary powers listen for example if you understand about tapo loka where all the great tapasvis exist and how the laws rules nature ontology of tapo loka in tapo loka there is no gravity and in tapo loka anything you imagine becomes reality immediately there are simple principles actually too simple it is like a just like a class with the two powerpoint presentation i can finish the whole basic last you need to understand about tapo tapo loka just yes, what is the gravity law in tapo loka what is the electromagnetic laws of tapo loka and what is the weak nuclear force and what is the strong nuclear force of tapo loka that's all just that four natural force we understand here in the planet earth the same thing if i apply to tapo loka and make you understand just that understanding and visualization the multi dimensional logic of existence is such brahmavit brahmaiva bhavati just by knowing you become that understand knowledge and becoming is separate only in binary logic this world knowledge and becoming is one and the same in higher dimension zones for example if you have a thorough knowledge about indra loka they will be happy to have you there because they are all waiting you see everywhere they want immigrants only in india we are suffering with population india and china only doesn't want immigrants all other countries want immigrants because the future any country who gets more immigrants are only going to be successful no really only india and china is suffering with population all the other countries they want immigrants so all the higher zones they want as many number as possible immigrants otherwise why do you think they will send their ambassador to planet earth i am the direct ambassador of kaila shri kailasa i am here to enroll all of you to kailasa that's all i have been sent from there they enroll more and more people for kailasa understand they want immigrants kailasa wants more people to be part of the kailasa not to exploit you just to celebrate you understand so i am a, you can give any title you want consul general or uh, ambassador or uh, big big titles you want this time directly i came enroll everyone about kailasa understand you see all those higher space higher zones if you understand the functionality of the higher zones uh, tapo loka tapo lokas law of gravity why there is no gravity and how you can also be without influenced by gravity what is the electromagnetic force of tapo loka see for example in the planet earth here 
your electromagnetic force is lust and fear if you are terrorized or if you become extremely lusty your electromagnetic force goes to its peak if you become very deeply devoted in your puja you can cross the electromagnetic force which can be generated by lust or fear then you become master of yourself that is why i am saying puja can liberate you and give you enlightenment too easily that is. puja has the capacity that atmalinga puja has a capacity to change your electromagnetic force if you understand that parameshwara is real and when you do puja actually he sees what you are offering how when you do pada puja to me how i look what you are offering like that he sees and he responds is real just if you sit with this cognition and do puja the whole electromagnetic force of your body crosses electromagnetic force generated by lust and fear then no lust no fear can manipulate you you will have lust and fear under your control they cannot control you like that there are simple understandings about gravitation of tapo loka and electromagnetic force of tapo loka and the weak nuclear force of tapo loka and strong nuclear force of tapo loka there are some more forces i can explain hmm, that 